show on YouTube channel doing something a little different today because it's been a long time since I've done a gear review from the inside of my semi truck and I figured no what the hell let's do it today right so I have a 2019 aero black metal by LTD it is a fantastic guitar I must say I'm a lot more impressed with this than I thought I would be it is an offset V it has a mahogany, solid mahogany body. It has a three-piece maple neck, Madagascar ebony fretboard, uh, 24 extra jumbo frets. Um, it has an EMG 81 active pickup. It also has an EMG, what they call a um, TKO kill switch. Which, for those of you who don't know what a kill switch is, <laughs> Kills the sound, if you could imagine that. Floyd Rose 1000. Uh, been a long time since I've dealt with the Floyd. I was actually thinking this was going to be a nightmare, but it actually set up really easy. Obviously, it locks here. Grover tuners. It's a six string. Um, what else can I say about it? Oh, it's got a thin thin U neck shape. It's very, very comfortable to play. Like, stupid comfortable to play. It's a 13.7 inch radius. And I believe it's a 25 and a half inch scale. Look at my cheat notes, because I'm stupid and don't remember shit. But yeah, I would be right. That's one volume knob. That's it. It's simple. It's metal. It's, uh, I mean, you could use it for country if you wanted to, if you want to be that cool guy. But, you know, what a nasty looking guitar that is, huh? Look at that. I love the arrow shape. And as you all know, if you've been following me for a long time, I love just one pickup, the simplicity of it. It is fantastic. So let's uh, show some of my horrible guitar playing. Yeah. <laughs>
So yeah, it chugs. Chug life. Big shout out to old Anglin right there, man. That dude's awesome. I don't care what anybody says. So we always get those people like, dude, what's the clean sound like? Because there are people out there that enjoy the cleaner side of life. I'm not one of them. But that doesn't mean I can't support the people who like to get the pretty pretty on. Totally bust the shit out of that. So there you go, you got the clean, you got the mean, you know what I'm saying? You got it all. So, again, 2019 Black Metal Arrow by LTD, which is the overseas company, or I guess the over-overseas company for ESP. 
It is a great guitar. It is worth every penny they charge for it. Not too often you can say that with overseas guitars nowadays, but this guitar is worth all the money they are asking for it. It is fantastic, and I know a lot of people complain about Vs and not being able to use wireless attachments. So I have a Boss Katana Air, and it takes mine quite well. I also have a G10S Wireless by Line 6 that I use in my fly rig and it takes that perfectly too. So, no worries on the wireless action with the Aero Black Metal, and I imagine it's probably that way with all the Aeros, if you're not a fan of this setup and you wanna try like an Aero 1000 or something, or 400, 600, whatever the hell the fucking numbers are on those things. So yeah, cool beans. If you've liked this video, and I know it's a little weird because I'm not using my home setup, but people seem to like the videos from here in the truck, and I figured I'd go old school and do something from the truck. So using the Boss Katana Air for all the sounds, there was nothing else used, there's no computer processing, nothing you are hearing from my cell phone, because that's what I use to record my videos, because I'm a hack motherfucker. That's it. You're getting the volume and the sound that's in this room from the Boss Katana directly through the Aero Black Metal. Again, great guitar. Worth every penny in my opinion. Um, and that's coming from someone who plays a lot of very high-end guitars. I'm telling you right now, this is a great guitar for the money that they are charging. And uh, go to your, like, your local store that sells them and try one out. Don't take my word for it, right? Anyhow, I'm Truck Driver Sean. If you've watched this and you get it, like, subscribe, man. It's not going to hurt you to subscribe. And uh, I've been asked to do like more lessons and tutorials and go over more stuff. And uh, I've been super lazy. It happens. I've been busy with life. I know a lot of people are like, holy shit, dude. They see me in videos like, you're losing a shit ton of weight. I'm busy. I'm working on me. So when I have time to do cool stuff like review a great piece of gear, um, hopefully pretty soon I'll be reviewing the Black Metal Phoenix. That's the guitar I really wanted, but... I wanted to put a V in my collection. Ola England, Solar Guitars. Ola England, what do we want to call them? I wanted to get a Solar Guitar, but they're just charging too much. I also wanted to get a, I really, really want a Legator V, but they're just priced a damn high. And none for nothing, the quality on this thing, the playability, the tones I get from it, the sound, it, it this guitar is a home run. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna be saving up and I'm definitely gonna get that Black Metal Phoenix. Um, by LTD. It's just, that guitar is everything I love. Offset, reverse headstock, one pickup. You know, just a regular old fixed bridge. Pretty excited to get my hands on that. So yeah, very cool. I'll catch you all later. Again, come on man, smash that fucking subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, later man. Y'all be good.